Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be reviewing the new NanoPix by AT uh, digital intraoral sensor, okay, for x-rays. Now, nice little small box, comes either with a little CD-ROM uh, for, for installation or it has a little USB with all the uh, software in it. It's not a very big software, all it really is, um, it's a database for your patients, which of course you can link into your practice software. But the first striking thing that I really like about this is how small the sensor is, okay? So it comes up nicely wrapped there. Just a standard USB 2 or USB 3 port that we put it into. But the nice thing is, I really like the size of this little small sensor. So currently, I'm going to pull this closer to show you. I'm using the uh, RVG 5200 from CareStream. And if we put them side by side, we can see the change in that profile how much nicer and smaller that is and obviously the first priority I would be patient comfort and uh, accessibility in the mouth there's no point in having a really a fancy sensor that doesn't go into the mouth I really like the small one now really it's got a nice little holder for holding that in place as well for the patient or use a little universal rim, um, device for actually keeping it in the mouth but next up let's just test it and see what quality images it has So first up, in the software, two simple menus. On the right side, we see all the views. On the left side, we see our manipulation tools. What we have initially is a sharpness tool, a, a, a smart control sharpness tool, and we can see reducing the sharpness, we get a lot more detail in the bone and the periapical lesion of this retained root. And if we then shift to the right-hand side, we can then see how sharper the image becomes and how we can change the definition of what we're looking at things like the periodontal ligament the um, the root canal itself and any other associated structures uh, close by to this root we also have filters which we can change and <clears throat> some of the filters will allow us to either invert the image to, uh, uh, from the black to the whites and the whites to the blacks and we'll also see we have the ability to change the brightness as well as the contrast to enhance the images as we view them on the left under the viewer. We have filters which allow us to change colors, um, looking at different heat maps for identifying different anatomical structures within each individual image, as well as measurement tools at the top bar, um, as well as uh, ang angulation measurements and uh, overall diagnostic. Um, manipulation tools that we use in most digital data software. Very simple and easy to use software. No bigger than about 40 megabytes um, in total. Now one of the nice features we have here is that we're also able to generate a report with individual notes. Here we can see we've selected an image and this will now allow us to customize our notes in the report which of course is vital for record keeping but also important um, for communicating with any of our peers uh, or other specialists that we associate our practices with. And that's it folks, a nice and simple software, well-priced sensor that competes equally with all the best CCD sensors in the market. Stay with us for further reviews by the International Digital Dental Academy.